This one's really cool because it brought back one of my favorite things from Scum, and that is the bicycles. Not only did it bring us bicycles, but it bought, uh, brought us a new fatigue system, and you gain fatigue over time if you're not eating properly and you're not sleeping properly. So now there is a purpose for sleeping in Scum, and yes, you can log out in a bed. Now, um, you're going to need either a bedroll or an actual crafted bed. You cannot sleep out on the ground to gain rest. I mean, you can, but it gains at a slow rate, so it's interesting. You can also gain um, fatigue, regain um, your energy back from drinking hot beverages like coffee and eating but it's not as efficient as actually sleeping so that's really cool now uh, the bed roll you can either put it in a bag and it only takes up a 4 by 4 slot which is not bad you can't put it in oh you can put it in shorts nice uh, it makes no sense but whatever and you can also equip it and it'll just put it on your back like a uh, normal backpack this is very similar to our uh, ISO mats when I was in the military and um, they do work ISO mats do work they keep you very warm um, they're not meant to be cushiony, they're meant to keep you from freezing. And that's why they're isomats, they isolate your body temperature um, above the ground so it doesn't sap all the heat away. And they're, they're great, they're fantastic. So uh, I think it's really cool to add to the game. I hope it's not too overbearing, I haven't had a lot of time to test it, but I will potentially make another video about the whole fatigue system in the future. Uh, the next super cool thing that we got that I have been waiting for forever was better locks. And uh, now we have something, uh, I'm going to have to grab it out of this bag really quick, but it is, where did it go? I had it in my hands. Ooh, did I drop it? I might have dropped it. Give me a second, guys. I might have to spawn it in just so I could show you guys uh, the goods really quick. Uh, where is it? I had to spawn in some uh, shorts and stuff to, you know, actually fit the... Uh, bill of being a bike rider i don't know there's not really like bicyclist equipment so <laughs> this is the closest um so anyways you have the dialogue and it's really cool so i you can i don't know if you can craft it let's check really quick um you might be able to craft the dialogue and if you can that's going to be super awesome is it on your building where is it dialogue maybe you can't build it maybe you have to find it in the open world i don't think you can yeah i think you're gonna have to find it in the open world so this is going to be a rare commodity which is awesome because it's a very high tier and the, the, the best thing about it is you can't pick this lock you have to guess the combination if you want to open it which i think scum needed scum really needed lock picking can easily be abused by macros and stuff like that i haven't really seen any updates to make that more balanced so i'm glad that this exists so uh, players can have much more security in their bases and their belongings now um to set the combination you just right click it set combination and then you hover over which one you want to set and uh, deal we'll just do one two three and uh let's see and then spacebar to confirm and we have a combination set on this lock we can apply it to our chest now i can open it obviously because i own it but if i didn't own it i would have to um spin the dials just like i did before to guess the combination and unlock the lock all right i think that's super cool we've needed that for a lot uh, a lot of time and i'm glad it's in the game um we're gonna go check out the trader eventually probably on the live stream today and see what that's all about and how it works but the next thing let's let's check out the bike really quick i haven't really driven it around too much yet it feels a little bit different but that could just be like placebo i don't know if they really changed the whole mechanic of how it drives it definitely feels like it's more responsive and I like it. Do we have a horn? Oh, they took away the little bell. You don't have a bell anymore that you can ding. Uh, what a shame. But yeah, you got the bicycle back, which is nice. Uh, the bicycle's amazing because you can increase your constitution and your strength without having to run or walk everywhere. And it doesn't reduce the durability of your shoes and stuff. I love the bike. It's like one of my favorite things to have. It's done. I'm so excited they brought this back. The game is getting better, guys. Um, it's not perfect. I think hand abrasions need to be a balance and stuff like that still. But overall, it is improving, and I'm having a blast playing it again with my wife and stuff. So definitely, if you guys want to join us, I'm playing on my private server right now. It's not really private. It's private for our community. So if you want to play on the server, join us in the Discord. Uh, subscribe and comment, and uh, just, you'll be a part of our world. You can play in Hyper World. It's really awesome. We have all kinds of zones and stuff. So something for everybody, PvP, PvE. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to take a little trip over to the city because apparently the city got a rework. So we're just going to uh, do a little bit of admin magic really quick, and we're going to make our way up to the city. And uh, we'll, we'll come up on it, so it's not like we'll just instantly go there. I mean, we'll instantly go there, right? You'll see what I mean when I actually do it. I'm actually really excited about this because I think Samobar is one of the coolest locations. It makes it feel like it really was a real world, a real world, um, a real place with 
you know, NPCs living there and a backstory and all that. Oh, instantly. Look what we got. Um, I think they overdid it with the fog. Um, I think instantly, yeah, they definitely overdid it with the fog. I think, I get it, it's supposed to be an abandoned island, or island and city and stuff like that, but this is a bit much, guys. Um... I really don't like this. I really don't like this. But whatever. Let's let's go explore. Let's go explore. I said we would come look at the city. So we're going to do this chat. Uh, just that. Give me a bike. I want a bike. There we go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Game Pyres, you stress me out. Um, it's kind of like the whole power plant. I think they overdid it a bit. Not with the power plant itself, but the area surrounding it. Like, it goes so far. Like, the whole sector pretty much is messed up. But let's go check. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, you can't really see a damn thing. I, I, I don't like this, guys. I'm not going to lie. This fog was, I believe, really unnecessary. And I don't see a reason for it. Like, why is there fog? Like, I don't, I don't understand why fog would have happened here just randomly. I mean, it makes sense for the power plant. You've got, like, the smog and the steam and all that other stuff. But... I don't, I don't understand this at all. It doesn't look good. It does not look good, Game Fires. Uh, maybe if you toned it down, maybe if you just had fog that was hovering on the surface of the ground like you have in bunkers sometimes, that would be cool. But this this ain't it. This ain't it. And I've been playing this game since 2019. I cannot tell you enough how this is not... Uh, this is not something I would have imagined the city would look like. PvP in the city is going to be completely changed because of this. I mean, PvE, I think this is kind of a cool addition, but PvP, the city living there is going to be, it's going to be weird now. Like, you get that music too. I, I don't, I think that music's unnecessary. I think the music that they added to the, um, the sounds aren't bad, but the music they added to the uh, power plant kind of breaks the immersion. Especially, it does it for me for sure. Um... They kind of added that here too but yeah look look it just makes everything look so much worse like everything looks i don't know like all that beautiful detail you got stuff is just gone now and i think the performance has gone down too because i'm getting a lot of stuttering that i don't i don't really ever get in the city i don't know kind of hit miss um let's see they added a couple other th other things they added admin commands and stuff let's uh let's check those out really quick let me see what they say got the bike, we got stamina units, we already checked that stuff out, we've got the bedroll, we've got the combo lock, and we've got the sample bar rework, and they fixed a bunch of sp uh, spawns and stuff in the city, uh, the reworking, so that's cool, there's a lot of bug fixes, it says, uh, and there's quality of life additions, I can read those off, um, weapons will now be detectable by the medical detector, they adjusted item descriptions, which needed to happen because the item descriptions were really weird. I think the puppets aren't noticing me as much. Oh no, I, I stand corrected, they are. Um, they reduced the time needed to destroy plants, which we needed because it takes forever to destroy plants for no reason. Adjusted recipe descriptions on some base building elements. Okay, that's good, good. Um, pilot hat will now provide warmth. Nice, it's a wool hat, I imagine it would. Uh, adjusted item availability on traders. I don't know what that means, it's very vague, but we'll see. Chopping fish into fillets and steaks will now produce the same durability as a full fish. Okay, so no more um, are the days of you chopping up a fish with like 50% durability and you getting 100% durability um, steaks and fillets. Um, whoa, you're having a bit of a tweak right there, aren't you? So, I mean, I guess that's kind of needed for realism and balancing, but um, I mean, it's kind of nice. It's kind of convenient if you wanted to hold some food. I've made a better push start function. Um, I'm going to try that out on stream. Adjusted medical gloves, torn gang. Um, I, they're already super fragile. I don't know. They probably tear like instantly out. Hey guys, sorry. The audio uh, for this portion just got out of whack for whatever reason. I think it had to do with the puppets. Anyways, um, in this part I was just discussing how um, the surgical gloves uh, have different durability now. It's a lot less. Um, when you're riding in an open vehicle like a bicycle or a car with no doors, you can actually take puppet damages properly, which is what you can see right now on screen. The other thing I discussed was what they say they added admin commands. That was just having to do with actual server settings like the bedroll, spawn rates, and your fatigue rates. Nothing too crazy. Um, and I just pretty much was also talking about how much I hated the city, how it looked, and I like all the other features of the update. So let's get back to the normal video. Thanks for understanding, guys. I mean, I like the update, guys. We got the padlock, the little dialog, super cool. We got the bike back, one of my favorite things, and we got bedrolls. Um, it's a really cool update overall. 
I hate the Samovar City rework. I really do. It just looks, I don't know, goofy to me. It's a bit much. I, I don't know. It just breaks the immersion completely for me. Could do without the music. Could do without this much fog. The fog's not bad, but it's just so much, guys. And it just makes everything look cartoony and fake. Like, I don't know. I don't like it. But whatever. The rest of the update is pretty cool. I like everything but the addition of the rework to Samovar City. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Definitely check out the server. I have a video coming out about that soon. Love to have you on here in Hyper World playing with you, PvPing, PvE, and just having a good time. You join us for events on Fridays. Uh, we do giveaways. Last week we gave away a copy of Sons of the Forest. We'll, it was a ton of fun in the event. We do them in the Scum server or other games like Gary Spot. It just depends on what we're feeling. Uh, my health is coming back up, guys. I have a lot more time to be consistently streaming. I will be streaming um, pretty much daily now. Sometimes I won't, but uh, if you want to find anything out about that or make suggestions or comments, go to the Discord. That's the place to get a hold of So anyways, I thank you guys for all the support. I love you all so very much. Um, thanks for everything, and thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.